Hello, welcome to Racing SEM Bike Dynamics uh, module. Uh, in this video, we're going to discover how this module works. Uh, I already opened the uh, comparison between an April RS250 to stroke uh, against a Yamaha RD350 Gibson PVS with a big bore kit for 100 horsepower. Uh, I have uh, filled with input data. Uh, in this case, uh, the uh, Yamaha RD is a naked uh, without the fairings, but uh, the user can choose a different aerodynamic situation. So in this case, it's uh, naked. Uh, the tire friction is normal because it's a normal uh, road tire. Drive efficiency is 95% because it's only a 5% uh, horsepower loss on the drive train. The concrete surface is about the, the road, in this case a uh, normal public uh, road, road asphalt. This is the maximum RPM I want to estimate. This is the stock uh, secondary transmission of the MRD, 17 front sprocket teeth uh, and uh, 39 rear sprocket teeth. Uh, road slope on this example is uh, downhill, but I'm going to put straight line uh, zero degrees. Uh, then the clutch by to roll out distance, uh, it's for um, elapsed uh, time estimation uh, or drive racing. Uh, these variables are density, center of gravity, wheelbase, uh, bike weight, um, weight. Uh, for this MRD, you can check out on the internet some of these values, the center of gravity, wheelbase. Bike wet weight, uh, it's for this case uh, a more light uh, bike, not the stock one. <coughs> this is the rear wheel uh, perimeter. Uh, this tab is uh, the gearbox. I've already filled with the uh, stock uh, gearbox uh, values. This is the primary ratio. This is the final ratio for the first two six uh, gear. As you can see, this is the result of gaps um, uh, between gears uh, in a percentage way. So you can see this is some kind uh, of a close ratio road uh, gearbox, which is fine. Uh, this is the bike uh, dyno. Uh, I've used a chart uh, um, obtained from the internet uh, from uh, this um, kit, the 421 uh, big bore kit for the Yamaha Banshee, which, uh, which is, can, can be used also on the Yamaha RD crankcases. Uh, this is uh, a peak uh, max uh, rear wheel horsepower of 90 at uh, 10,000 RPM. This is the torque in Newton meter. This is the representative chart of this uh, table. Uh, on the right side, this, uh, there are very um, uh, plenty of uh, tabs. This is the thrust, uh, thrust at wheel. It shows uh, available force at the rear wheel on each gear uh, along on the x axis uh, with speed uh, kilometers an hour. Uh, this green gradient is a resistance force for the, um, this drag array coefficient, naked, as you are going to see now, if I put uh, this kind of aerodynamics, it's going down, so you can uh, achieve uh, more speed because the attrition is lower, we're going to put again the naked, okay, so as you can see, we point here, and the, uh, the maximum attainable uh, speed uh, estimated is uh, 217 km per hour. Uh, then the speed and rear wheel tab, we can see the calculated maximum speed uh, along this RPM range. Uh, it, it shows the speed on 5th and 6th gear, and the necessary rear wheel horsepower in 5th and 6th gear. Uh, the green cells uh, are uh, achievable in it or attainable speeds. The red ones are an uh, achievable or unattainable uh, speeds because it compares uh, the calculated uh, necessary uh, wheel or power for this um, speed and these aerodynamics. In this case, uh, 96 wheel or power in fifth gear for 232 km per hour, as you can see here at 11,500 RPM. Uh, the value is 45 uh, wheel or power. Uh, it's uh, almost half of the necessary uh, horse, horsepower, uh, horsepower and torque uh, top shows uh, a chart representing the real horsepower uh, curve from the dyno but for each gear along the, real, uh, the calculated uh, real speed on each gear so if we can point here at the peak horsepower in fifth gear the bike will achieve 204 km per hour the acceleration top show us uh, also the acceleration in g-force on the um, on this axis uh, on the x-axis is the kilometers per hour uh, the wheeling limit uh, if the bike has uh, anti-wheelie or traction control you can show where it uh, crosses along 
this chart is very useful to understand at which uh, speed uh, the bike is uh, starting to lose uh, uh, acceleration in this case on the rd it's about this uh, 200 around 200 kilometers per hour um, then the next tab max speed uh, it's a data table with this rpm interval range first gear second until sixth gear uh, calculated real speed uh, for this uh, setup in this case the maximum estimated top speed is 232 uh, kilometers per hour this is a chart um, showing uh, plotting the, the speed the real speed along the rpm range uh, in on each gear the blue one is 6 speed, the top speed, like I said before, 232 kilometers per hour. The next tab is about uh, is uh, in, intended for the for those who race on drag racing. This is the traction force limit at wheels, uh, in this case the rear wheel. This is uh, available uh, force, like we saw on the thread at wheel um, chart. Again. Uh, if the rear wheel will spin, in this case yes, because it's a contact surface of road asphalt and the tire friction is for a ro uh, normal tire or uh, road. The ro rollout time uh, estimated the result and we also present the estimated elapsed time for the quarter mile and the eighth mile as well. This is a realistic speed trap on the quarter mile. This is the ideal speed, optimistic, optimistic speed for the quarter mile as well. This is uh, uh, real uh, speed. This is a chart representing the estimated elapsed time, about 10 seconds uh, on this kind of bike with this uh, 100 horsepower and only uh, this kind of uh, uh, weight, uh, the bike weight, weight plus the rider weight. The last uh, tab is the distance uh, time versus speed, where we have agreed for each gear the maximum attainable speed, the, the time elapsed, uh, and the distance elapsed in meters. <coughs> uh, this is a chart representing the distance versus speed uh, along with the, uh, the speed. This is uh, another chart with the time versus speed against uh, the real speed. Uh, this uh, uh, Yamaha RD um, project would have a total elapsed time of uh, 24, uh, almost 25 seconds. The total distance um, is uh, almost uh, uh, 800 meters. The maximum speed was the calculated, like uh, we, uh, we said before, of 232 kilometers per hour. So this way, uh, a person uh, filling all this input data can have uh, an idea of the real-world performance of, of this bike. Uh, changing uh, the settings here, uh, the input, um, the results are uh, immediately. So we put naked again. If we change the road slope, we're going to downhill for five degrees. <coughs> you can see on the speed wheel and the rear wheel uh, top, uh, the results are changing. More speed is attainable. If we can, if we change the secondary transmission, uh, put a longer one. The speed uh, it's all, uh, also uh, attainable, 226 kilometers per hour in this case. Uh, so we have a pretty uh, picture of uh, how this uh, particular bike uh, will perform on the, the real world. Thank you.